What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing the review from Texas Motor Speedway. Today was race 8 of 10 of the NASCAR playoffs, round 2 of a 3 in the round of 8 as we are in the currently in the NASCAR Plus. So let's get into the review. So how I do this, I just go through and talk about the race. Then I go through and talk about the results of the race, talk about the drivers are highlighting this race. And then I'm going to talk about my opinion of the race and talk about uh, talk about the standings as well, because the standings are very important going into the playoffs as well. So anyway, let's get into the review, shall we? So on the poll for this race, Kevin Harvick was on the poll. Not a very surprising thing to say at the least. And from the get-go, Kevin Harvick had probably the best, best car in this race. At the beginning, Kevin Harvick and Eric Jones had a good battle up front. But in the end, Kevin Harvick was able to take, take the lead. First caution in the race would uh, come out for uh, Chase Elliott. Uh, Chase Elliott got loose off of off of turn two because he was on a trashing compound. The car he just got loose, aiming back to square into the outside wall. He was able to, however, uh, continue, but he would end up being a uh, multiple lap and lap sound because of that wreck. Went back racing on lap thirteen, and Kevin Harvick with Air Jones battled battled for the lead, and Kevin was able to get the lead in the end. Second caution would, of the race would come out for debris. Um, debris basically want the the three signal uh, for getting breaking into the turn. Uh, apparently, the wind from the cars basically made the paper of it come off, and it just shredded apart on the racetrack as drivers ran through it. Uh, I saw that I was like, "Is there gonna be a caution? Is there debris on the racetrack?" And then, sure enough, uh, the caution came out uh, came out for that. Went back racing uh, lap twenty, and on the restart, uh, and on the restart, Air, uh, bleh, Kevin Harvick was able to keep the lead from Eric Jones. Third car, and then we went racing for about twenty five laps. And the third caution of the race would come out for uh, Corey LaJoy. LaJoy, similar to what happened to Chase Elliott, he got loose and hit the outside wall. He would continue on. But he had a lot of damage on the right on the right rear. Went back racing on lap 48 of the race, and on that restart, Clint Boyer was able to get the race lead. Basically, some strategy ended up taking place, and uh, guys like Kevin Harvick, um, Eric Jones, Martin Trix Jr., all those guys basically, I, th I think those were some of the guys, Larson, those guys basically uh, decided, decided to pit, while guys like Clint Boyer decided to, um, to stay out. The next caution would come out, on uh, lap on lap 55, uh, Brad Kozlowski basically uh, lost it in into the corner and uh, got sideways because the trash came on and he hit the outside outside wall. Then Ricky Senhouse Jr. basically just decided to barrel it in there on accident, did not mean to, but he got loose trying to avoid it. He got loose and he ended up running into the back of Brad Kozlowski. Unfortunately, both their days would uh, come to an end. This would help Chase Elliott, but it would hurt them in the end of the day. So. Went back, then went back racing on last six three because of an extensive cleanup. It took a while for them to get this cleaned up. And on the restart, Clint Boyer was able to take the lead and basically pull away. And then the next caution race to come out with 12 laps to go in the, in the stage. Uh, once again, Corey LaJoy would bring the caution out once again. This would unfortunately end his day. He had damage once again on the right rear. Car was basically spun out uh, and hit the outside wall. He was done for the day. Went back racing with eight laps to go, and then a caution would come out with four laps to go for Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin just lost it in the corner, got loose, and he, uh, unfortunately, a playoff contender too, another playoff contender in trouble. Chase a playoff contender, as many of you know. And then Denny Hamlin, he had issues. Uh, he got loose off the corner and went through the grass and damaged the splitter. This would affect Denny Hamlin throughout the race, but he stayed on track because with more possibility of drivers having problems throughout the day, you want to stay on or just get extra points because that one point could help you into the plus. But Denny Hamlin, someone who I kind of thought was easily going to make it to the round to the championship four, he's got a lot of work to do now going to ISM because he didn't have a very good day because of that wreck. And then went back racing with two laps to go, with one lap to go in the in the stage, and Kevin Hart was able to pass in turn three on Clint Boyer, and he was able to win stage one. So stage one result. Kevin Harvick wins stage one, Clint Boyer second, Kyle Larson third, Alice Bowman fourth, Kyle Busch fifth, Austin Dillon sixth, Kurt Busch seventh, Ryan Priest eighth, Ryan Blaney ninth, and Daniel Hemrick finished tenth. 
Went back racing on lap lap and a six. Took a long time for them to get this this caution through. I don't understand why it took nine laps for them to get to this as stage break caution. Really, really stupid in my opinion. But we went back racing, and this race pretty much went straight forward. Um, but some guys played the strategy game, and Jimmy Johnson uh, decided we had got the lead from Alex Bowman on the restart, and he was able to basically hold off a bunch of guys for like 40 laps. Jimmy Johnson led 40 laps in this race today, um, led 40 laps. And then Eric Amarola was battling Jimmy Johnson for this race lead, and basically Eric Amarola uh, basically took the race lead. Piss offs had happened where we had new leaders, but in the end, but the end of the stage, coming to the end of stage two, Eric Amarola was able to pull away and hold off the field to win stage two. So Eric Amarola won stage two, Eric Jones second, Jimmy Johnson third, Kyle Larson fourth, Kevin Harvick fifth, Joe Logano sixth, Alex Bowman seventh, um, Daniel Suarez eighth, nine Kyle Busch, and tenth would be William Byron. Went back racing on lap 178, start of Sage, start of Sage 3. And on the restart, you had Eric, was it Eric Amaral? No, it was Daniel Suarez. William Byron decided to stay out, and Daniel Suarez and a bunch of guys took two tires and no tires. Then Daniel Suarez was able to take the lead away, pretty much right away, from uh, William Byron. The next caution would come out <clears throat> on lap 187 for Jimmy Johnson. Johnson got loose off of turn two, and he hit the outside wall a little bit hard, and I originally thought he did. I thought originally when he hit the, the outside wall, uh, I thought he didn't damage it too bad. When when you actually look at the replay, he hit it pretty hard. Uh, he did the best he could trying to save it, but uh, just to, goes to show that Jimmy Johnson's season just has not been very good. He's had a very bad season. He's been struggling really, really bad. Worst season of Jimmy Johnson's career. And I hope it next year they can turn the season around because today, if they can have a performance like they, they did today, except wrecking, but leading laps like they did today, there might be a chance that Jimmy Johnson can do something next year. Went back racing on lap 191, and then we had another caution a lap later for uh, David Reagan and the 52 of Garrett Smithley. Yes, uh, Garrett Smithley got loose. He just car just snapped up, just snapped. And he ended up, unfortunately, uh, collecting um, 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 like David Reagan, they, and they both, unfortunately, were basically out of this out of this race. Went back racing a lap 197, and Daniel Suarez was able to hold off for a few laps, and then Eric Amarola was able to take the lead was able to take the lead away, and would lead the next 40 laps. The next caution of the race would come out with around 90 laps to go in the race. Uh, Bubble Walls basically intentionally brought a caution out um, so that he could basically not go many, many laps down, which Karma's going to bite. <laughs> yes, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, Bubble Walls basically uh, intentionally brought a caution out and screwed some strategies up, including William Byron and Kyle Larson. Thank you, Bubba, for screwing Larson today because I think Kyle Larson had a top five car. Not a winning car, but a top five car. Instead, you got Larson to finish worse than he should have. Thank you, Bubba, for that. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Then we went back racing on lap 249. Eric Amarola was able to take the lead away. And then Kevin Harvick, who had recovering from a uh, safety violation, he was able to eventually pass Eric Amarola um, back. They battled back and forth for quite a little bit. And then Kevin Harvick was able to pull away. And then final pit stops happened. Kyle Busch was able to get the lead for second. But uh, he had a, he stalled on pit road. He lost a few pits, few um, few seconds, lost few few seconds and a few spots. And then Kevin Harvick was able to pass twelve laps to go. And coming off the final corner, Kevin Harvick was able on the last lap to get around and won by about five seconds, if I'm not mistaken. And Kevin Harvick was able to win, was able to win by one point five seconds. And Kevin Harvick was able to win here in Texas and for the third year in a row. And Kevin Harvick will lock his spot into the championship for at Homestead and joins Truex there. He's the second driver to lock his spot in. Also, this is his 49th career win. He has now tied Tony Sturt on the all-time win list. He is one win away from winning his 50th career race, which I believe is only, I believe only 13 drivers have done that all-time. 
So Kevin Harvey's about to join the illustrious list of winners have joined 50 races. He's one win away from reaching that peak. So congratulations to Kevin Harvick on that. So let's go through the results. So uh, one, two, three for SHR today. Only second time it's ever happened in Stuart Haas Racing's career. Um, Kevin Harvick won the race today. Uh, fantastic Robert Harvick. Best, best car all around for the field. He led 119 laps today. Uh, not someone in lead over half the race, but Harvick clearly had the best car in the field. I said it from the get go. Once I started watching the race, he was probably had the best car in the race. Eric Amarola, very, very strong second place. Um, great run for him. Best run he's had all year. In my opinion, uh, very competitive was up front all day. He had the second best car all around. I think the SHR cars all around had the best cars in the field. I don't think they were going to be untouchable in this race. Uh, Daniel Suarez. Third place run. Suarez has had some impressive runs recently, and a third place run uh, here at um, here at Texas. Very very strong run for Suarez. Suarez seems to be really good here at Texas because last time you were here too, he did really good. But uh, seeing a Suarez third place, really strong run for him. <laughs> Joey Logano solid fourth place run that helps him in the playoffs. He's he's really good out on points right now. Finished fourth, great run for Logano. Alice Bowman top five, strong run for Bowman. Uh, Marcher Senior. Quiet day, didn't really have to do much. Finishes six. He really wasn't that fast, but he got six at the end of the day. So he still comes back and finishes six. Um, seventh was Kyle Bush. Kyle had an okay day, but not a winning day, to be honest with you. Not a great day for him. Ryan Blaney, eighth. Blaney did not have a very good day at all, but still came on and finished eighth. Again, he's could be bad worse, but what can you do with how the points are structured now? Uh, Kurt Bush, ninth. Not bad run for Kurt. And Eric Jones finished his tenth. Clint Boyer, 11th. Kyle Larson, 12th. Should have finished better than that, in my opinion. He should have finished in the top five. He had a top five car all day and just finished 12th because Bubba Wall decided to basically spin out on purpose. Thank you, Bubba. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, Austin Dillon, 13th. Not a bad run for Austin Dillon, despite how he's been this year. 13th is a nice run. Matt Benedetto, 14th. Not another top 15 run for Matt Benedetto. Not Benedetto, sorry. Um, with only two races to go left at Levine Family Race, where he goes to Wood Brothers, not a bad run. Uh, Ryan Newman, 15th. Daniel Hemrick, another top 20. Nice. We don't know where he's going next year. Maybe it's up. Mayweather team. People are kind of pointing him. Uh, William Byron, 17th. He got screwed. He had a good run going. He got screwed because of that whole thing with Bubba. Um, 18th, Ty Dillon. 19th, Chris Buescher and Paul Menard. Rounds out 20th. John Hunter Nemechek, 20, John Hunter Nemechek 21st. Very strong run as a for the first time in a front row car. He got 21st, and he was up there on speed. So great run for John Hunter Nima checking his first start. Uh, he's got something for this track. He's, he's actually pretty good at Texas. He's actually solid here. He ran really well in the spinning race um, and Saturday night's race. Parker Glugman, 22nd. Great run for Parker. 23rd, Ryan Priest. 24th, Bubba Wallace. Still not happy with Bubba for what he did, but what can you do? Uh, 25th, Michael Medell, 26th, J.J. Yaley, 27th, Landon Castle, 28th, Denny Hamlin. Hamlin did whatever he could after the damage, just stayed on there, collected some points. Some points are better than none, right, but he's going to be in a must-win situation going into ISM. Uh, Joe Nemechek, 29th, 30th, Josh Balicki, 31st, Ross Chastain, Chase Elliott, 32nd. He's also in a must-win situation, pretty much has to win ISM, no and buts about it. Pretty much knew he was going to have to win anyways, regardless of where he finished here at Texas. Uh, 33rd, Quinn Half, 34th, Jimmy Johnson, 35th, David Reagan, 36th, Garrett Smithy, 37th, Timmy Hill, 30th, Corley Joy, 39th, Brad Kozlowski, and rounding out the field is Ricky Santos Jr. in last place. So, let's go ahead and like take a look at the point standings. Uh, Martrix Jr., he's locked into the next round. We all, we pretty much all knew that. Also, Kevin Harvick, he is locked into the next round, meaning that only two spots are in right now, and that is being taken by Kyle Busch. And Joey Logano. Logano is 20 points ahead of the cutoff line. Kyle Busch is 22 points above the cutoff line. Kyle Busch is really strong at ISM. I expect him to be contending throughout the day. And uh, Joey Logano, he's okay here. So just have a solid day and he should be all right. Hamlin, Larson, Blaney, and Elliott all must win. They must win. Unless Logano or Kyle Busch has a cat catastrophic day, when we do go to ISM, Doug, they're going to have to win ISM. They're going to have to win. Because I expect Kyle Busch to be strong unless he has a mechanical problem. And Joey Logano, he's okay here. But if he doesn't, if he has a decent run, he'll be all good, all good to go. 
But we'll see what happens at ISM. So let me now give you my opinion. This real Jesus review is really, really long. 15 minutes. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to say that this race is okay. There was definitely some great battles for the lead. Great racing around the racetrack, too. But once we got long in a run, I thought the race just kind of got boring. I thought the race could have been better. The first stage, very sloppy. Uh, second stage, best part of the race. You had great racing through there. And a safe stream is kind of the bad part of this race. But uh, overall, I'm going to give this race a 7.5 out of 10. Okay race, not a great race, but I'm going to give it an okay review. Uh, 7.5 for me is an okay review. Not great, but not terrible race. 7.5 out of 10 is my review for this race here in Texas. So, congrats to Kevin Harvick. I'm winning here. He goes to the Championship World Home Set. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you know if video does go live on my channel. Follow me on all my social medias. Links in the description below for that. And comment below your opinions of the race. What did you think of the race? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.